On Memorial Day weekend 2021, we took our family on vacation to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We stayed in the Palms Tower at the Breakers Resort. On day three, we visited some popular Myrtle Beach attractions. This video documents what we experienced on that day. Slept in this morning because it is a glorious 60 degrees here in Myrtle Beach. It is 60 degrees this morning here in Myrtle Beach and it's very cloudy. James went downstairs to get the sun to rise this morning and wasn't able to. Nobody out on the beach at 5.30 a.m. <laughs> Imagine that. Might be because it feels like 55 degrees. The sun finally came up. There's like nobody out here on the beach at this time of the morning. Really cloudy day today. But you can tell people were not expecting this weather because <laughs> because people are walking around in shorts and tank tops and freezing. Are you excited about today? Yep. What are we gonna do? Go hiking and ride. We're not going hiking, but we're gonna go riding. Riding? What are we gonna ride? Roller coasters. We'll see. He about lost his mind on the sky wheel, so. The Breakers Resort so far has been pretty good to us. I know we're gonna be doing some of the popular things to do here in Myrtle Beach today this is gonna be a good one we have been to myrtle beach many times in the past but never in may this was not ideal beach weather but we weren't gonna let it stop us from having a good time don't you know i'm local local you know what swim around here's what sharks like on shark week Myrtle Beach has many piers with restaurants, fishing, and entertainment. Most of them have changed since we first started going 13 years ago. The closest pier to the Breakers Resort was the 14th Avenue Pier, so we walked to it. It was also only uh, $1 to get on the pier, and it's noon right now, and we can go on and off until 8.30. If you order drinks, they'll bring it right out to you. At this restaurant? Yeah, like you can sit out here, you don't have to sit in the oh, restaurant, okay. and they'll bring it right out. Okay, and let's go that if you let's go take your receipt for the pier into the restaurant, you get $3 off your meal. They're catching little sharks, lots of them. Lots of little sharks this week. I'm scared of sharks. Of sharks? But you're way up here. Yeah, but they can't find us. No, they, they can't <laughs> walk, bud. They have to stay in the water. Sharks can't walk. The 1.2 mile wooden boardwalk is located in the historic district of Myrtle Beach. It runs south in between the 14th Avenue and 2nd Avenue Pier. On it, you can enjoy ocean views, restaurants, specialty shops, and the Sky Wheel. Check out our last video if you'd like to see more about the Sky Wheel. We should go get a pineapple smoothie. Look at that. Oh man. Thank you so much. Really good. Mm, that's good. So this was twelve dollars. We got a strawberry pina colada. Pineapple. It's good. Definitely shareable. I ate the cherry. That's good. The core is a little fruity. Volleyball net.
We weren't gonna walk the whole boardwalk, so we hopped back on Ocean Boulevard to see if there was anything fun to do. It goes up to, I think, $125. The roller coasters are eight tickets per person. So it, I'm assuming this card goes pretty quick. This is a $50 card. So each ride is worth a certain ticket. The big kid rides are worth eight per person. And then the smaller ones, I think they said were four. We'll find out in a minute. I'm not 100% sure on that one. <laughs> park wasn't really that big and it seemed to be geared more towards the younger kids. I thought the Funplex was a great new addition to the area. Adric seemed to like it. We had a good time and after all that fun at the Funplex, we were whooped and ready for a nap. It's nap time. Dad needs a nap. Adric needs, needs a nap. nap because Who's I went there? on a spinny ride with Adric. <laughs> <laughs> for seashells. These people are crazy. It is way too cold for that. Yeah, but you know what? If you don't get to go on vacation a lot and you come here, it don't matter. You get in. The water's not bad. It's no, just... No. The air temperature's cooler today. But kids don't care. A broken seashell. Yeah. 
So since the moment we arrived here, we were like, what is going on? Is there some kind of event this weekend? It turns out it is Black Bike Week. I didn't even know they had that. I don't know that Black Bike Week is the term, but Brandy just looked it up. Atlantic Beach, Black Bike Week. Black Bike Week. So I know nothing about bikes or bike week because Let's face it, I'm kind of a nerd. Yeah, I had no idea. It was bike week, so yeah. Another bike week, two bike weeks. You know, for it being black bike week, I saw a lot of bikes that weren't even black. So I'm not a biker, but if I did have a bike, I'd be like, The Chesapeake House restaurant. It is a local, locally owned family restaurant that we have visited a couple times in the past and always had a wonderful experience. They have like outdoor animals and stuff like that and the food is always so great. They have a really good seafood menu. They have like soul food as well. So like comfort food, family it's food. They have a really good kids menu. North, then turn um, and they have a bakery inside. So they have, um, they give cinnamon rolls and breads and stuff like that. I can't wait to share this one with you guys. I'm excited to eat here. A little bit of a drive from yeah. where we're at right now, but. It's eight miles. But in my personal opinion, this may potentially be one of the best, best meals that we have down here because every time we come I feel that it's one of the best meals and it's typically not the most expensive so if that says anything. Dad, pull me up and I want to see the turtle. Your tables are ready. There's a gator <laughs> out there. Where? Out swimming around out there. Hey dude. <laughs> what are you looking at? Why are you looking at me like that? Looking at you like your lunch. Why is he staring at me? Why is he staring at me? When we arrived at the Chesapeake House, we found out there was a long wait. So instead of waiting, we decided to put in a reservation for later that evening. Then we set out to enjoy one of Myrtle Beach's most popular attractions. Do you want to know what one of the most popular things to do in Myrtle Beach is? Putt putting. into the pond so the people that work here are so generous and said come back as many times as you need likely he'll do it again <laughs> it was very obvious that we had little mini golf experience Got this.
great. One. It was really close. <laughs> Just for the video. Oh. We just did the jungle safari mini golf one of the many mini golf courses here at Myrtle Beach if you're coming down to Myrtle Beach it's definitely the place to go putt-putting because there are, are a lot of courses to choose from we just picked a random one that was just near us we we're trying to kill some time before we go out to dinner and that was the closest one to us and we just hit it up putt -putt. was that fun yeah. Yeah. I, I beat the game myself. You did so good, huh? Sissy did one, though. Sissy did one. No, her didn't. Yes, her did. No, I don't want to win. We just got back to our room from the Chesapeake house. And again. So good. Hey. It was so good. You get flounder stew. That's good. What are you eating? <laughs> Though there was a long wait. It was about an hour wait, so we put in a reservation for 8.30 and went back and had to wait 20 more minutes, which was okay, but it was a long wait, so it's a late night when we got back. Eating a late dinner tonight? Yep. We napped until almost 4.30. <laughs> but highly recommend the Chesapeake House one of our faves. Dinner was good. I knew it was sour. <laughs> the giant. See, I told you. See, I told you. Join us next time on part four of our Myrtle Beach series. The clouds have passed and the sun shines bright on our last full day at the Breakers Resort in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. If you would like to see more of our summer vacation in Myrtle Beach, check out our playlist. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when we post the next one. Thanks for watching. Brandy found her mozzarella at the Rusty Reel at the resort. <laughs> Every time we've been here, we have had those days where it's been cloudy, and you will have that. If you come here, you'll have days like today. You might not, but I mean, chances are pretty good that you will. You'll, you'll get them. <laughs>